Welcome to the session on features and applications of Final Cut Pro 10. Final Cut Pro is a series of non-linear video editing software programs, first developed by Macromedia Incorporate and later Apple Incorporate. The most recent version, Final Cut Pro 10 10.3, runs on Intel-based Mac OS system powered by OS 10 version 10.10 .10 or later. FCPX is a software standard for many professional video editors. Just as offline digital editing once revolutionized traditional splice and tape technique, Final Cut Pro aims to take digital editing to the next level. As cutting edge programming, FCP 10 uses the power of 64-bit architecture and every cycle of the CPU and multiple GPUs to realize with breathtaking performance. As an editing suit, FCP 10 lets you import and manage media, edit, add effects, do titles, color corrections, audio mix, and when all this is done, it lets you distribute your final projects to whichever format or platform your client or audience requires. Workflow and user interface. The basic editing workflow in FCP 10 can be broken down into three phases, import, edit and share. During the import phase, you process the media files into clips, then organize and store it in preparation for uh, the edit. The edit phase is where we arrange the clips, trim, add graphics, mix audio, do titles and finalize the edit. The share phase is when you prepare your finished project for distribution to various formats. FCP 10 interface comprises of the library pane on the left where you where all your libraries and events are listed, followed by the browser where the projects and clips in each event are displayed. Once you select a clip in the browser, it opens in the viewer, and to the left of the viewer, you have the inspector window where we can obtain the information on a clip and change the attributes of the clips while editing as necessary. Below all this window is a magnetic timeline window where all our editing is done. In between the upper windows and the timeline is the tool bar pane where we can find all the tools, time code display and windows to access extra options. The exclusive feature about FCP 10 is the magnetic storyline unlike any other DNLE systems, that is digital non-linear editing systems, where the clips are attached to each other like a magnetic field. Another new feature in FCP 10 is the skimming option which enables one to preview without actually playing the clip. You just move the cursor or play head on the clip and it will show in the viewer. S is the keyboard shortcut for uh, both switching on or off for the skimmer. Skimming works in the storyline or uh, while importing as well. Setting up a library and event. Before starting a project in FCP 10, we first create a library and it is in this library we store all our clips and individual sequences known as uh, projects in FCP 10 under the events. Events work like a virtual folder to keep all the clips and uh, projects organized inside a library. When you create a library, an event is automatically created with that specific day's date. To create a library and event, file, new, library, give the name, choose the location and save. Or file, new, event, give name, choose the library and click OK. Importing clips. FCP 10 import options let you import media from a camera, FCP compatible devices, storage drives and uh, media devices. The media import window presents a unified interface for uh, ingesting source media files into FCP 10. The import window specifies where the source media files reside and how their clip representations are catalogued within the library's event or events. In the import window, the sidebar lists available devices as import sources. The browser below the viewer lists all the clips in the selected source. The viewer lets you preview the source media file selected in the browser. When you select a camera or device, you may mark the clip to import that specific part. The import options pane 
specifies the virtual and uh, physical locations of clips and source media files during import along with transcoding and analysis options. The import options pane lets you choose which event the clip should go to, whether to copy the physical file to the library or leave the physical file in its original location, whether to transcode the media to the FCP10 compatible format or proxy file for smoother workflow, add automatic keywords to organize the media and analyze the video and audio to color correct or fix audio issues. To import a clip, file, import, select the clip and option in the import window, import all. Organizing clips, FCP10 has a powerful engine and options that let you organize the imported clips. We have the option to use events inside a library to arrange the clips as we use folders to organize files. The other and most powerful organizing option is to use keywords. FCP10 lets you add keywords to your clips in an event and recall the keywords to display only those clips under the specific keyword. In the revolutionary new design of FCP10, we can also save the clip searches with specific parameters as smart collections and recall those whenever necessary. You may also rate the clips as rejected, favorite using the buttons in the tools bar. To add a keyword or create a smart collection, select the clip, click on the key icon in the tools panel and enter the keyword or select the event. File new keyword collection, drag the clips to the newly created keyword collection or select the event new smart collection, double click on the created smart collection to adjust the parameters. Storyline tools, FCP10 gives an array of tools to perfect your edit. All the tools are available in the toolbar panel. The tools that aid us in edits are select Work as a multi-tool to select, move the clip and trim. Trim gives you more uh, control trim options. Position, this is uh, more of a more than uh, tools that uh, disengages the magnetic timeline and uh, lets us uh, overwrite clips. Range selection, lets you select a range of storyline. Blade, helps you to split clips and uh, add edits. Zoom lets you zoom in or out of the storyline. Hand lets you move around the clip position in viewer once it is zoomed in. Making an edit, clip trimming, manipulating time through editing continuity, structuring a scene, structuring film or program. FCP10 doesn't have tracks as other video editing softwares. It features a revolutionary design of magnetic storyline which automates most of the working and makes it easier for the editor. Instead of adding new tracks to make compositing, it lets you connect the clips to primary storyline or create a secondary storyline. Once the clips are opened in the viewer, mark the in and out and we can insert, append, overwrite or connect it as necessary. We may move around the clips in the storyline to arrange in the specific order that is required. The magnetic storyline lets you work faster as FCP10 automatically makes adjustments as necessary when you move a clip. Once the primary arrangement is done, we can make the final edit using the trim options. FCP10 gives various trim options to make the fine tuning of the edit. The select mode works as a trim tool as soon as you place it at the edge of a clip. The film strip in the pointer icon indicates as which edge is selected. You can trim pulling the selected edges as necessary. If you want to remove a large chunk, you can use blade tool, which will create a virtual cut on the clip through edit and lets you treat it as an individual clip. While deleting a clip in FCP10, you have two delete function. One is the ripple delete which deletes the clip without leaving empty space and the other is lift edit which leaves a gap clip in the place of the deleted clip. By arranging clips, trimming and deleting unwanted portions, you can edit through continuity and uh, create pace and rhythm to your edit and structure the scene. In order to change the duration of the shot to a predetermined duration, 
select the short and press control D on the keyboard. This will show the default duration on the timer. All one needs to do is put the new denominations and press enter. Adding transitions. The process of adding a transition in FCP 10 is quite simple. Open the transition library from the right hand tool panel and then just drag and drop the desired transition between the two shots. Before applying one can uh, preview the transition in the library. In order to change the duration of the transition, select the transition and press Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. This will show the default duration on the timer. All one needs to do is put the new denominations and press enter. Editing and organizing audio effects. FCP10 has inbuilt audio effects that lets you work on your audio mix before finalizing the projects. The main feature in FCP10 is to analyze the audio and automatically boost loudness, remove background noise and remove hum. We can access these options in the inspector window under the audio option. We can add audio effects by opening the filter effects, filter or effects panel from the toolbar and dragging and dropping the desired effects to the audio clip. The parameters of the effect can be accessed and changed in inspector window. Monitoring and adjusting audio levels. FCP10 gives a small visual audio monitoring meter in the toolbar panel and clicking on it opens a large clear audio meter on the bottom right of the interface which gives the reading and an understanding of the audio levels in the mix. We can adjust the volume of a clip by pulling down the volume level bar on the clip using select tool and uh, see the decibel level indication of the same while we do it. Applying transitions to fade volume. In FCP 10, we need not add any transition to fade the volume in or out. The FCP 10 gives us a default keyframe in the beginning and end of the audio clip and uh, adjusting those we may add a fade in or fade out. We can also use the traditional method of using a transition to add transition, use the transition window which can be accessed from the toolbar panel. Setting keyframes to change volume. If you want to change the volume in the specific region of the audio clips, then the best option is to add a keyframe and adjust the volume level. To add a keyframe, select the audio clip, place the playhead where needed, Use short key, option K to add keyframe. Recording a narration track. We can record voiceover in FCP 10 by making use of uh, the voiceover record window. The recorded clip will come in the selected event. Window, record voiceover, adjust parameters and uh, record. Applying filters. Filters are necessary when you need to enhance or achieve a specific result on the clip. The FCP10 filter or effects library can be accessed from the toolbar panel. The fast and revolutionary engine of FCP10 lets us preview the video effects on the selected clip without applying it on first. Once a filter to be applied is selected, double click on the effects adds it to the selected clip. We can also drag and drop the filter to the desired clip. Viewing and uh, modifying filter parameters. Once a filter has been added to a clip, the parameters of that particular filter can be accessed in the inspector window under the video tab effects. We can make changes to the parameters to achieve the desired results. Using color correction filter. Apple incorporate, incorporated the color software in its earlier versions to FCP 10 to make it a powerful coloring platform. The color correction filter can be added from the filter library. Once added onto a clip, we can access the parameters from the inspector window. Its powerful coloring engine lets us do multiple levels of uh, corrections in a single filter. It is also incorporated with a color mask which lets you choose a spe specific color area and make corrections to specific area or use a shape mask to select an area using the rectangular or circle shape. We can use keyframes to animate the mask. Animating filters. We can use the keyframes which can be added to any filter 
to make change in the parameters at different time position to create an animated effect as necessary. The keyframes can be added in the inspector window by clicking on the add keyframe which is placed on the right side of, the, of each parameter. The inspector window also gives access to the clip attributes and we may, we may add keyframes to the attributes to create simple animations as well. Exporting or sharing. After the completion of uh, the project, one needs to export or share it according to the requirement. In order to share, go to the file menu and choose share or you can access it from the right hand tool panel. The multiple options will come. Select yours, set the settings, add the destination, give a final name and simply save it. One can see the pro progress of uh, the work by clicking on the small circle on the left side of the timer. FCP10 lets you work while the background tasks that is sharing are on unlike its previous versions. Comments. FCP10 is a professional video editing software that has been among the top softwares in the industry. You can use FCP10 for advanced video editing. The FCP10 latest version is uh, one of the fastest editing engine making use of uh, the 64-bit architecture. It gives the best organizing, better compatibility to the present file formats and coded faster editing and uh, sharing platform for uh, video editing. Let us summarize. In this unit, we have seen the important features and tools that are frequently used in FCP10. With the help of the tools and features in the FCP10, we can have a professional edit with complete workflow from start to finish. Now some assignments for you. Create a new library, event, project and import and understand the difference between leaving files in place and copy to library while importing. Another, demonstrate rough edit and trimming in FCP10. One more, use keyframes to mix audio and animate filters and clip attributes. One more, demonstrate the color correction options and demonstrate the process and options for uh, export or sharing after the completion of a project. Now some references. Apple Pro Training Series Final Cut 10 Professional Video Editing by Diana Wayland, published in 2011 by Peach Pit Press. Apple Pro Training Series Final Cut Pro 10 10.2 Professional Post Production by Brendan Bokin published in 2015 by Peach Pit Press. With that, we come to the conclusion of this session. Thank you all for uh, being patient and being attentive. We'll meet you again in another session. Till then, goodbye.